As well as keeping an eye on proceedings on the road at this year's World Championships, UCI President David Lapartion used his time in Flanders last month to introduce the latest weapon in the UCI's fight to keep races in the future on a fair and level playing field. Welcome everybody for this uh, small press conference regarding fight against technological fraud. As you know, that's a very important and sensitive topic for the UCI and we uh, wanted to have a full presentation uh, of a new equipment that we have now in the UCI. Accusations of motor doping aren't new in professional cycling. It's a form of cheating that former rider Michael Rogers, now the UCI's innovation manager, is leading the fight against, a fight that will become much easier with the use of new X-ray technology. I will make a scan of, of a normal road bike and uh, over to uh, your left uh, there is a bike with a, a motor installed. Uh, you'll be able to see the images in, in real time. I can see that something probably isn't right, it's a little bit different. So I can simply look in into the enhanced version and as you can see it, there is a motor sitting right there. So that was a quick demonstration of uh, the backscatter technology. Uh, we received in real time Im X-ray images of the device. In essence, the machine shoots X-rays into the bicycle. The sensor uh, then picks up the amount of X-rays coming, being bounced back to the device and using uh, advanced, quite advanced technology really, it draws an image on the screen. Uh, that very, very quickly is an ex explanation of how the technology works. Uh, again, real-time real -time images and gives us very, very fast feedback if we need to uh, escalate uh, the particular scan to a new level, as such as dismantling the bike or um, taking uh, other precautions. Always looking to innovate and develop cycling, the UCI, along with Eurosport and Discovery Events, are bringing a new track racing format to life next month.